Hello friends, today I want to talk about Jesus the Christ, the Passover Lamb, the Yeshua of God, sent to save us from our sins. He uh, left the riches of heaven and came down here, lived a perfect life. He did everything right and he was murdered. He was murdered for our sins. He paid the price. He hung on a cross. Cursed is the man that hangs on a tree. He hung on a tree. He was in the grave for three days. And then he arose. If Christ didn't arise, we, we would have, we'd be silly to, to worship a God that, that the grave had a hold of. But the grave has no hold on us and has no hold on Christ. He arose. He is risen. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Come to Jesus now. Quit playing around. Time is short. Uh, Easter is, is not really a great name for Passover. Easter represents Easter, a fallen angel. Uh, I prefer to call it Passover. He was our Passover lamb. When, unfortunately, the Catholic Church in particular mix the teachings of the Nickelodeons and Revelations. You can read about it. God hates the teaching of the Nickelodeons. What was that teaching? They mixed in myths, the fallen God theologies. These fallen angels live. They're little G-gods. Yahweh Jesus is the big G-god. But the, unfortunately, the Catholic Church, they, they thought you know, they'd get more followers if they mixed in these pagan occult things into their uh, doctrines. It's bad. In Revelations, Jesus said, I will call my people out of her. It's the city that sets on seven hills. It's time, Catholics that believe in Jesus, to get out of there. This pope is, is, is not good. This pope is a black pope. He, he's going to be in with the Antichrist. He'll be the false prophet if he's not the Antichrist. He for sure is the spirit of Antichrist. They wear the hat of Dagon, a false god. Uh, it's just on and on and on. People, open your eyes and see. Open your ears and hear. And turn with your hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ. I know there's Catholic believers. Come out of her. The end is now. The end is happening. I love you, brothers and sisters. And I pray right now, Lord Jesus, please touch hearts. Please cause people to turn to you with their whole hearts. Make them new creations in you. Help them, Lord. Cause them to pray right now and seek your face. Cause them to turn from their sins and repent from their hearts. Oh, Lord Jesus, please reach the world. My friends in India, reach them. Cause them to turn to you. Oh, Jesus, help us in your holy name. Save us. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Yeshua's name. That's the Jewish name for Jesus, Yeshua. There was no J in the old King James. The first 1611 King James did not have a J. It's Y. It's not Yah it's not Jehovah, it's Yahovah. It's Jesus Yeshua. It's okay if you call him Jesus. He knows who he is and he knows our heart about these false religions and festivals. Uh, you know, in, in your heart if you're celebrating Jesus coming and rising from the dead, uh, just call it Passover. Uh, Christmas, uh, the tree, that's back to another false god and stuff. But if you're celebrating that Jesus was born in your heart, that's what counts. God knows our heart. But I'm going to tell you, there's some evil Luciferians that are laughing. There are fallen angels that are laughing when, when we call things by their names. And when we worship uh, them unknowingly. It's time to get real. You gotta gotta get into the word and start reading the Bible and start walking the path. Lots of people know the path. How many walk the path? I love you, brothers and sisters. Amen.